Hi, I'm Beth from the Spartanburg Soil and Water Conservation District. It's been a while since we planted our cover crop back in February. Let's take a look at how it has worked over these months and see if there's any things that we would change for next time. It's the end of May and my cover crop is clearly doing its job. It has covered my crops, but in some places it's done a little bit too good of a job. Down through here I can't even find my okra, my cucumber, there's my bean that I kind of separated out there. So I'm going to go ahead and trim down this cover crop so that my plants that I did plant have a chance to see some sunlight. But I'm going to try to keep part of the cover crop in there to maybe help retain some moisture. We'll see how that goes. Here it is now after it's much needed haircut. We've got our okra plant, our cucumber, and our beans can now see the light of day. And I just use what I cut off to mulch some of these areas that didn't have any cover crop to begin with. Just a quick comparison of our string bean plants. This one over here never had any cover crops. We did weed and then put the weeds around the base as sort of a green mulch. It's looking really nice, has grown tall, and we've harvested a couple of string beans off of it already. On the other side of our garden, directly across here, we have got our green bean plant that had the cover crop. Although initially the cover crop seemed to kind of shield these plants from the frost, by now they're a little spindly from not having as much sunlight. Um, we do have a few beans on there, but maybe next time we need to trim the cover crop a lot sooner for our vegetables. Our cucumbers a little on the spindly side, whereas over here, they're a little bit more robust, even though initially they might have been a little bit stunted from the frost. Our results are pretty much the same with the tomatoes, although I did plant different varieties, so it's a little bit harder to tell. This one seems to be doing pretty well. He's kind of robust, never had any cover crop, although um, I did weed and put the weeds down around the base to kind of help retain some of the moisture, but he's looking really good. Our tomato plants over on this side, all of which have had a cover crop, are doing fine. They're just not quite as big or as robust. They're having to work a little bit harder to get through this cover crop, but they're all looking pretty strong. So we'll see. I may keep the cover crop on these a little shorter, but may attempt to keep some cover crop around. We'll give it a try next year with the two different ways and see what happens.